thing today is if you've noticed your extrema have been getting light hits, uh, we'd like to try to help the customer out instead of sending an extrema in. And it could be something very easily taken care of at home instead of, again, you know, sending your gun in for repair. And as we go along, we're going to uh, do these videos to possibly help our uh, customers out. Uh, one of the things that we've seen is there is a rubber O-ring that fits up inside of your forend. It, it'll go up inside and there's uh, little plastic fingers, little plastic fingers that hold this in. What can happen sometimes is this O-ring comes out and it can be stuck on your magazine tube which creates a headspace problem and I'll put the barrel on here to kind of show you. I'll use my uh, other four in. I'll let my bolt go full battery slow. And what that does, it creates a gap in here between your receiver and the rib of your barrel. And basically your bolt will not go full battery. Then again, that creates these, uh, these light hits. The best way, if this does happen, to do a quick repair that will last is again take your take your rubber O-ring. And again, we put some uh, adhesive on here. You can use a good automotive adhesive, uh, like a weather stripping that's, of course your gun's going to be used outdoors. This works very well. I dropped uh, the O-ring in there and once I put a few, a few drops of that adhesive on the back side of this, the side of course that goes down against your forend, I would put my adhesive, four or five drops, take my O-ring, insert it into the forend, make sure my adhesive side is down, and I would get a punch and just make sure I go all the way around. I know it's kind of hard for everyone to see, but basically what I'm doing is I'm pushing that O-ring down into those plastic fingers that hold the O-ring. And such. Another thing that I'd like for our customers to be aware of, as you put the barrel on, make sure that the forend is seated properly down in the receiver. Make sure that it actually has a machine area. This area here should go down into the receiver. If it is not, if it's like such, and you put your foreign cap on, again your barrel is going to be able to move. That's going to create light hits. Always make sure this foreign is fully seated, like so. Warring cap should just be finger snug, like so. The last thing I'd like to touch upon for, I'm going to call it a, a quick field fix, is make sure that your firing pin hole is clean. A lot of guys will spray lubricant up in here and as this hot gas works the action, this uh, firing pin hole becomes gummy. So I would not put any lubricant in this, in your firing pin hole, but if it is, you can 
uh, actually clean out with a pipe cleaner or something to that effect just to make sure that this hole is, stays clean. But I hope this helps and in the future we will touch base on some other tips that uh, keeps you in the field hunting where you like to be and again I hope this helps.